J.J. Galinsky joining us from Mid-Valley here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire Service. And uh, J.J., let's talk about uh, this basketball season, uh, how things went for you and as we get into baseball season. Uh, this year we got an early exit from uh, the playoffs this year. I didn't really like that. We finished second in the league, so we had a good season. A lot of young guys stepped up, so that was the only bright side of the season, I think. Let's talk about baseball-wise. Uh, you feel like you're a little more under your feet, uh, so to speak, this year compared to normal as you guys have tended to go into the playoffs of basketball. You feel like you're a little more ready for the season? Yeah, I got a lot more swings in this offseason, so I feel a little better for this upcoming season. Take us around the outfield and some of the, the players competing for positions at Mid-Valley. Uh, we have made two guaranteed outfield spots now, but the other one's up for grabs. We have a lot of good young talent, so very interesting to see. National Honor Society, Chess Club, uh, doing a great job in the classroom. I'll talk a little bit about your dedication as a student. Uh, school comes first, so if I don't have good grades, I can't play, so the biggest thing. Let's talk about your mom and, and her inspiring you, pushing you along, and making sure that you, you're doing all the positive stuff you're doing. Yeah, my mom helps me through everything. She helps me when I'm up, down. She helps me push through everything. She's the best. Let's talk about the next step for you and uh, what you want to do. Uh, either on attend uh, Kings or Misery Corey to continue playing basketball, so my friend Noah's down there now. so. All right. Well, uh, we wish you the best in that. Let's talk about your sister, Katie. Uh, she's she's cool. She's a good athlete, but she's a little rough around the edges still. So. <laughs> but she's only 14, so what grade she you? Uh, eighth. Okay. I'm sure she looks up to you, huh? Yeah. As far as uh, this year on the field with this Mid-Valley team, what do you think some of the strengths are for this baseball program? Uh, we have a lot of good talent, I think. We have a mix of everything, young players, veterans. So I think it's going to be a very good year this year. So. How about the, as far as the bat this year for you? What, what do you think some of the positive attributes will be from you, whether it's on the bases or at the plate? I think I could get on a lot of times, and my friend Brendan could hit me in a lot. We have a good mix of power and contact hitters, so it should be good here. Right, JJ, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you very much. Talking Mid-Valley Baseball here in the John Mandola Show at our Carol and Janelle Ranch. Prop is with us. and uh, Coach, let's talk a little bit about the outlook for this year. How good are the Spartans going to be? Yeah, no, we're, we're, we, have, we have big hopes. So, uh, you know, we are replacing some seniors. Uh, we graduated nine seniors last year, five starters. So we have some young and hungry guys. Um, but we have some great senior leadership with uh, J.J. Glinski and Mario Bonacci. Um, just to make sure they're uh, kind of taking the reins there and getting us ready for a, what hopefully is a good year. The snow melt's a little different. <laughs> Depends on where you're at. Some people have 10, 12 inches still on the ground. Some people are playing outside. Uh, what's it look like at Mid Valley right now? Yeah, we did some work on our field on Saturday. So we were able to get a full practice outside um, yesterday, and then we had another one today. So we got two days out. I know we're ahead of some other guys, like you mentioned before, but um, I mean, every day we get out there, we're hoping to get better, and our guys are hungry and ready, and we're April 2nd's here for our opening day before we know it. So uh, we're ready to use this Easter break a little bit to get some good playing time out there. Let's talk about the pitching this year, uh, what you have there on the mound. Yeah, no, it is. I think that's going to be one of our strengths this year. We do have a, um, we're looking at our one of our probably number one pitcher this year, uh, Justin Gosler. Um, he got some real good innings last year. He worked very hard, had a great summer, a great fall. Um, he's been in the weight room. He's been working with Coach Giovacci uh, through his travel team. So he's going to hopefully lead our staff there too. And then we have Anthony Colvin again, our one of our returning seniors who didn't have as many innings last year, um, but he's, he, he's prepped and ready to go, worked with Coach Ruby on the offseason. Um, so yeah, we, Mark Elon was a sophomore as well. He'll get some time. Um, so I think we're pretty, our top three, four starters, I think we'll be in good shape. They throw strikes and uh, we're ready to D up if we need to. Talk about the coaching staff and everybody having a role at Mid-Valley. We have, we have a real nice group of guys that are working together from our, from our junior high guys, from Coach Shepsik and Coach Hooper, Coach Kinger, and they do a lot of stuff with our varsity guys in our practice. So whenever they're able to make it, you know, they are there. We kind of intermingle there working with team levels. Even Coach Galley and Coach Halkowski at our junior varsity level, we practice a lot together. And obviously the more coaches there, the better, the more productive we can have in practices. So uh, Coach Tuff and I at the varsity level really like to have make sure there's more than just us there to get the best out of our guys. Year after year, you, you evaluate your coaching staff, you evaluate your players, evaluate your program. What did you say you had to do better in 2018 than you've done in the past? Yeah, that's a great question. That's actually we talked about there at our player meeting to start on. I just felt like we weren't as cohesive as a team as we were last year, as, as this year as we were last year. So I think we had some great talent last year, but I think we also had some uh, uh, not a lot of team, team before me kind of guys. Um, and I think that's a whole different story this year. And I really think from, from off-season workouts to now, um, that's we can see we're a mesh, more mesh group this year than we were last year. So I think that's going to be one of our, our bonuses. Those little things make a difference uh, down the road as the season goes on. 
you win a 6-5 game, you go extra innings and pull it out 2-1, to one, things like that. Talk about what you need to do in those situations, whether it's, you know, some extra arms down the stretch or a guy who might be able to put down a, a bunt or somebody to steal a base, those little plays. Yeah, and we, we just the other day at practice we talked about taking care of those little things and the big things kind of take care of themselves, you know, and uh, even from the mental aspect, we have to be more resilient and uh, handle adversary better than we have in the past couple of years. And that's something we as coaching staff need to do a better job of, focus on that mental aspect of the game. Um, but I mean, take it one pitch at a time, one up at a time, not dwelling on kind of things, bouncing back from those six, five losses and, and not taking for granted if we do beat up on a team pretty well, we got to come back the next day ready because people are, you know, people want to beat us and we want to beat everybody else. So um, that's, uh, that's, we've got to make sure we're, we're ready in all aspects of the game. Our coach, we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anthony Colvin joining us from the Mid Valley Spartans baseball team here at the John Mandola Show. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your senior year. So, uh, how fired up are you? What your expectations are for this season? I'm really excited. Um, my expectations and goals for this year is trying to win a uh, league championship or a district, if that. Um, we're looking solid as a team, and I think we could get there with our pitching and our defense. We have good bats and everything. Let's talk about the pitching aspect. Uh, take us through some of the arms on the team. Uh, who do you expect those guys to be? I think Justin Gozler right now is our best pitcher. He has a lot of fastball. Like His fastball velocity is very high. He has great secondary pitches. I mean, during the summer, I played with him for like two or three games, and he was just throwing lights out. It was shut out. And then I'll probably be the backup right there. And then we got Mark Longo and uh, Frankie Koch is coming in after us. Got some real good arms this year. How about people down the stretch at closing games out? Who are some of those guys? Uh, like I said before, Mark Longo, he throws really hard, yet he's only a junior this year. I expect some big things out of him. He hasn't really been playing that much of during the summer, so I think he'll do great. When you're not pitching, where can we find you on the diamond? You'll probably find me at third base this season. I'm, I've been playing there my whole life, and I played travel there the whole time, so I'm expected to be at third base this year, making some big plays for us. We'll talk about some uh, clubs and organizations you're involved with there at Mid-Valley. I am part of the uh, National Technical Honor Society at CTC, and uh, I basically got in there because I'm very good in the classroom, I'm a very great leader, and I love to help out anyone that I can. So, Prison guard down the road, uh, talk about where that inspiration came from. That inspiration came from both of my parents, my mom and my stepdad right now. And uh, my stepdad's an arm marshal and my mom's a, uh, my mom's been helping me throughout there learning some stuff that she's been through and like just getting used to what it would be like around in the prison facility, basically. Well, it's cool that uh, you got two people to look up to mm -hmm. as well. And how about a, a role model in your life uh, in addition? My dad is a big role model. He's one who got me to start playing baseball, getting real active in the sport. He's been helping me ever since I was five. I mean, I lost him when I was five, but hey, just got to keep rolling with him. Holy Cross, uh, somebody that you enjoy playing, you and yeah. your teammates. Talk about what you think that'll be like. I think it's going to be a really close game at PNC, but I feel like we have the upper hand with the pitching. Because we've known their players for a while, and we've gotten used to them over the summer and everything, so I think we'll be able to shut them down this year. All right, Anthony, we'll go again, and we appreciate your time. All right, thanks. Justin Gosler is with us from Mid-Valley here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking about the Spartans baseball team. It's your junior year. Let's talk about you up on the hill and uh, why you really uh, enjoy saying, hey, uh, it's my turn. I, I want to throw the wall today. Um, well, I felt pretty confident last year. They gave him the chance to throw against um, you know, Carbondale. I um, had a big chance against Western Wayne. They did have a, a fantastic outings against two teams. Um, this year I felt confident going in. I've, I've been working out, um, throwing a lot. Um, I just feel really confident this year, and I feel confident in our team. It's more of our team aspect, and I really think we have a good team this year, and it's focused on wins. And I feel like if I have the bump, I think we can have a good chance against some dubs this year. Let's talk about some of those other arms. We asked your teammate. Uh, they pointed to you, and I'm sure you're going to point right back to them and say they're important as well. Um, yeah, my man, uh, we got my man Mark Longo, the big righty coming up. He's a junior as well. Um, my man... Anthony Coleman, one of my closest friends, um, he's really good. I uh, just committed to Lackawanna. Um, he's doing really well this year. Um, I'd like to see good things out of him. We have a couple of relievers, Brendan Kaharski, um, you know, a couple of, couple of the younger kids coming up. So I think we have a good chance this year with a lot of pitching. We've got a lot of starters, and I think we should go deep in the games. You're uh, into a lot of clubs at school, so talk about some extracurricular activities you're involved in. Yes, sir. Um, I do uh, outdoor adventure club. We go do a lot of different activities, roller skating, sky zone, stuff like that, some fun stuff. I was part of the French club for two years, my freshman and sophomore year. Um, and I'm also part of the Leo club. We help out community, um, school, and other uh, events outside of the school. So it's a good thing to be a part of. Um, you have uh, 
a sister. So uh, tell us a little bit about, she's a little younger, what yeah, she's, she's up to. She's a little to. younger, she's a little pain in the neck, but you know, <laughs> I love her to death. I love my family to death. My sister Hannah Gozler, she's, uh, she's always there for me. She's been at every single game, hasn't missed a game yet. You know, out of the state, in state. So it's awesome to have a sibling like that you know, support you through the, you know, thick and thin. So. Science and math, a couple of subjects you enjoy, and you're doing a great job in the classroom. Yes, I am. Um, science and math is something I like, love to do. Um, I'd like to do some physical therapy, so you know, anatomy is one of my biggest, biggest things to do right now. Uh, math you know, is one of my favorite subjects as well, but um, definitely anatomy. I love to do so things with the body. So, further your baseball career down the road. I'd love to. Um, I'd love to push myself more. Um, I'd love to succeed in the sport. Um, this is something I've been looking at since I'm out of the womb, if you want to say, since day one. So um, it's definitely further education. I'd like to, but if baseball can take me a long way, I'd like to take that road and succeed into that. A few role models in your life, grandpa, dad, pitching coach. Tell us each that you took away from uh, those three people. Man, if I, you know, there's a lot I can take away. My grandfather, every night after school, he'd take me down to the field, we'd hit, do some fielding drills. I, I threw a long toss with him. My dad, he's always pushing me. I do CrossFit with him. Um, I work out in the gym with him. He's doing some, you know, mental aspects with me. Um, he's definitely a big part of my life too. Um, my pitching coach, Ronnie Kiyabachi, has helped me out a long, long time. Um, been with him 11 years now, and uh, he's been he's been a father figure to me on that mound. And uh, I'd definitely like to shout him out. He's a big help to me right now. Justin, uh, you got your act together. Uh, yes, sir. You keep it going, and uh, we're rooting for you here in 2018. Thank you. Mario Bonacci joining us from the Big Valley Spartans baseball team here on the John Mandola Show. Senior season, everybody loves a uh, utility player. Talk yeah. about all the different positions you play. Um, I play anywhere from first to third to right field. I, I was a catcher my entire life, so I kind of know a little bit of everything. And uh, this year I kind of decided that it's best for me to just do what I can to help the team in whatever position they needed, really. I'm sure Coach loves that. Uh, let's talk about playing soccer at Mid Valley. What the experience has been like for you? Oh, it's been it's been crazy, really. There's been so many different kinds of teams we have played and people I've met through that sport and baseball, and it just it it compares to baseball in a whole different way than any other sport can. Let's talk about some of the clubs and organizations you're involved with at school. Um, I'm the president of the ping pong club. I'm in the chess club. I'm part of the National Honor Society and the Scholastic Bowl team. And I'm part of the Goodwill Good Guides program. And I'm a mentor for younger kids that need mentoring. Well, that sounds pretty cool. And talk about, does anybody do that with you, help you out? Or is that just something you, you enjoy giving back and you've helped some of the yeah, younger it's, kids? Yeah, it's more of just giving back to people that need help in ways that I can help them and they can't help themselves. Let's talk about your sister Jessica and what kind of role she's played in your life. Oh, she's been a big part of my life. She kind of guided me in whatever ways I should take because being the older sister, she kind of always knew what was best for me and what I should do. And even though we fight sometimes, we still love each other, and that's just how, that's how it is. Physics? Not many people will ever take physics. You're yeah. a guy who takes it and likes it. Yeah, I, I'm going to college for mechanical engineering, so I like anything that has to do with motion or physics in that matter. As far as uh, the grade point average, like a 3.9, yeah, you know, about there, pretty yeah. darn good. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about uh, being a dedicated student and what you hope to do with that. Uh, I hope to take it into a great college career. I study a lot. I do a lot of my work because I know I want to get farther in life with school and be able to be that bigger person I am when I'm older. Down the road, uh, you know, things are going to look good for you. Is baseball part of that future? Or? I think it's more of I kind of want to get through this season to see what sport I want to play in college. So it's going to kind of be a learning experience for me, even just to go forward in my life. Let's talk about mom and dad and their important role in your life. Big, yeah, biggest part of my life. If it weren't for my parents, none of this would happen. If the endless hours that they sit through my games or practices or the equipment they buy me that I can't afford even, just to make me a better player and make me want to do things for myself. What's it like walking the halls of Mid Valley and trying to walk around with some pride and knowing that you're influencing younger student athletes and they're looking up to you it's it's a great feeling really going to even these younger kids the camps with the younger kids and teaching them ways and the way they look up to me it's just you can't you can't match it with anything and it's it's awesome to walk through the hallways and be able to talk to kids like that well mario we appreciate your time we wish you the best going forward thank you we're talking with brendan kaharski from the mid valley spartans baseball team here on the john mandola show and brendan what can we expect of you this year on the field um pretty much driving a lot of runs trying to be the run supporter and just do whatever I could to help the team. As far as this year's pitching, uh, how many arms do you think you guys have? I feel like we're really happy with arms this year. We got Justin Goldsler back, um, Anthony Colvin, Mark Long, which you really didn't hear a lot about. Those are our really 
three, three big arms this year. Take us around the horn in the infield of guys either securing starting positions or fighting for starting positions. Um, second base, we have Gio Lopez, who's looking solid right now. Um, Craig McCanty is a returning starter last year. Um, third base is up in the air between, I think, Anthony Colvin and Donald Healy, potentially. And then outfield, it looks like left field might be Jordani Cardenas. Um, center field, J.J. Galinsky. And then right field between Adam Jackson and Mark Longo also. And you, you think you're going to hold down that first base spot? Um, either me or Bar Mario Bonacci. And then how about the catching position? We might as well hit that right yeah, now. Yeah, get Julian Hanacek too. All right, so a lot of... A lot of positives here for uh, yes. the Smith Valley team. Uh, Vice President of the French Club, talk yep. about uh, what that title brings and maybe some fun places that you guys have gone to or some interesting things you've done. Um, for the um, French Club pres Vice President of the French Club, it's just pretty much just show everybody a po positive environment, what French is all about. Um, and last year we went to uh, the Manhattan Bistro down in wilkes Bear as a little field trip just to like, understand like what kind of French foods there are and everything. History, uh, one of your favorite subjects. Yeah, definitely. Doing real well in the classroom. Talk about uh, what you like about history. Uh, I just like, I guess, learn like about like what like happened like in the past about like and how like we came to be now. Attending college at your junior year, yep. is, you have a focus yet? You're kind of like wide open. I'm looking. Um, I'm really into like sports and everything, and like I'm thinking about going into some kind of like sports broadcasting, be a broadcaster somewhere. Let's talk about your your parents and them being a big influence in your life. Yeah, um, my mom always pushed me to be the hardest, like do the hardest I could do, and my dad has always been there, taking me to the field and everything. All right, Brendan, well, we wish you the best this year. Go get him. Thank you. Talking with Julian Handicek from the Mid Valley Spartans baseball team here in the John Mandola Show. Julian, you're the guy behind the plate, and uh, people talking about all the arms this year. Let's talk about your role on the team, getting dirty, getting behind balls, making sure you're, you're doing whatever coach expects. Yeah, uh, basically, like. My role is like to keep everything in front, and, like just do my job, uh, make sure uh, players get to where they need to go, and just basically get it done. How about that arm down the second? You feel like you, you got a pretty strong gun? Yeah, uh, I'm the next Daddy or Molina with that. Well, let's talk about uh, what you do uh, when you're not playing baseball. You play summer baseball, which is um, another part of it, but uh, any jobs or any anything you're doing with your family at all? No, I work uh, part-time over at McDonald's for my uncle, and then uh, during like just free time, I hang out with friends and just hang out with my like, coaches. Got a couple siblings. Uh, let's talk about Jenna and Cherokee. Yeah, my, uh, my oldest is my sister Cherokee, even uh, here. She's 18. Uh, she works with me, and she just doesn't do anything. But my little sister, she's a little active when it comes to like sports. She likes to play a little sports with a lot with me, so we we'll spend a lot of time together. You enjoy history in school. You have a favorite teacher? Uh, Mr. Snyder. What is it about that class you like? Uh, we always like talk about World War II and like all the like, the cool like interesting wars and everything. Well, let's talk about life after high school. Again, it's your junior year, but what are you thinking about down the road here? Uh, I might be enlisting in the army. Uh, my decision is not fully made, but like it's just like I already took the ads off. But like I'm mean, planning on retaking the ads like, like in the future. Talk about a couple of role models in your life, your dad, your uncle, and your coaches. Uh, my dad, Tim Hanacek, uh, he's always there to push me. Uh, he's the one who got me into baseball. And then my uncle is actually the one who actually got me into baseball, or catching. And his name's Bradley Hanacek. And I used to learn from him, and like he used to play from the Valley too, so I learned a lot from him over the years. And coaches, Ryan Grova and Kevin Chuck, uh, they're always there to push us and make sure that we get, we get done with the people. All right, Julian, we'll have a great 2018. All right, thank you.